Hello, Bokashi lovers. Okay, so maybe spring has finally sprung, or this could be the beginning of summer. I did scrape the ice off the car this morning. So, a couple of weeks ago, we buried our first bucket of Bokashi in our vegetable bed. Today, we're going to bury the next one in alongside. But first of all, I want to show you what's happened to the old one. If you come a bit closer, you can see the surface of the soil has fallen slightly where we buried the first bucket. That's a good sign. So, we're going to have a dig up and show you what has happened to our Bokashi waste. If you remember, it looked very food-like, but it doesn't anymore. That is wonderful soil. So, look how quickly that happened. A couple of weeks ago, it just looked like fermented food waste, and now soil. You get the odd bit of food waste still in there, like onion skins and maybe a few tea bags, but that is ready for planting into. If you remember, at the same time, we also revived our dead potting mix. Now, this is that bucket just taken out of the shed right now. So, again, let's have a look inside there. If you come in, look at that. Just beautiful potting compost now. Doesn't look like fermented food at all. Again, you'll find the odd onion skin and maybe a tea bag or two. But that is now ready for use. Wonderful. So, if you bury your bokashi in your garden or you revive it, your dead potting mix with it, then a few weeks' time, that's what you get. Wonderful soil. Great potting mix. Go Bukashi!